Hey everybody, I'm Aaron from Holiday World RV, and this is my first video. I'm super excited to show you the new Camp Chab 400. This is a 2023 model. It's got a bunch of sweet upgrades from 21. And uh, first thing I want to show you, this was similar to the 21 model, the Asdell sidewalls with aviation grade foam and fiberglass. That's good stuff. It'll, it'll last longer than I will. Um, it also has the Aldi uh, heating system, so it goes from the floor up. As we all know, warm air rises, but also you wake up in the morning, the first thing you want to put your feet on is not a cold ground. So we're going to walk around first, but I just wanted to point out this decal. I mean, it's, it's beautiful to look at to begin with. It's nice and modern, two-tone. But it's also interchangeable. You can order any of the decals from New Camp and they'll send it right to you. You just strip this off, put another one on. They got my favorite suspector. It looks just like retro, sipping down the road with your teardrop camper. Um, as opposed to most teardrop campers, this one's super sweet inside. But first, we're going to take a walk around. I wanted to show off the Goodyear Wrangler uh trail runner tires these are good for 30 degree grades and this is this is what makes this an outdoors person's uh, dream come true camper so it is a teardrop it's the one that i personally thought about full timing it in and uh it's you'll you'll see why as we go through the video right here that's your outdoor storage some people complain about that or whatever, but there's so much storage inside that you kind of don't even have to worry about it. Um, but, you know, it's still good. It'll still do what it's there to do and store your goods. All right, let's come around to the back. I love the back of this camper because of the stargazer window, as well as it just looks like a car. So, I mean, you've got your, your tail lights, everything set up like a classic car. It's a beautiful unit. All right. Let's come back around here. This is your Asdell uh, heating exhaust. And also we have our control center here with your entire guide for every configuration of where you flip these dials. For each thing, there's no guesswork going into this. A beautiful outdoor shower. And uh, yeah, your tank fill and your, your city water. So this one has 22 gallons in the fresh water tank, 18 gallons in the gray tank, and 12 gallons in the black tank. And those are going to be right here. Quick access easy to get to that's what i love about these teardrops everything is just here for you and here we have our 30 amp electrical inlet so let's come around to the front this is your ac a lot of people are afraid that it's too small to cool down the entire thing we're here in texas and it does a very good job even on a hot day you get a plenty of cool uh air in there and it's it's just good for you nothing to worry about let's move up front my number one thing with all my customers is to be absolutely transparent even with things that i would change this diamond plated aluminum case is good but you got all the rest of the space up front so what a lot of people are doing is just going to lowe's home depot or Show you. Yeah. 
the blind to this window right here has a reflective surface. So the, the heat that hits it, it's just going to be bounced right back. It's not going to get in there. It's not going to heat up your camper when you want it to be cool. Uh, not all the windows have that, but this one definitely does. It also ensures more privacy. Um, the thing that blows me away about this camper is that there's storage everywhere. You don't even notice how much storage there is and people think that there's not enough because you don't see it. It's not in your face. But there's plenty of storage. There's storage, storage, storage. Everywhere you look, you've got more storage. That is your uh, AC access. But still, everywhere. There's storage here that you can't imagine. Here's my arm. It goes all the way back there. This is a whole bunch of storage. More, more storage. And this dinette system is a swivel around. This is new for 2023. And it goes all sorts of ways to swivel. All right, we're going to set up the bunk here uh, in a few minutes. But first, I want to show you more of the storage, more of the Amish woodwork that goes into this. First off, these, these pole knobs are super sweet. If you're sitting, if you're camping, you can just leave them out. If you're traveling, pop them in. They're not going anywhere. Everything in there is secure. So all this storage that you wouldn't otherwise notice, and that's real wood. This isn't, this isn't composite. You can see the plies even in this uh, divider part right here. It's real good wood and we're going to show you how good it is right here in these dovetail joints all my woodworking friends know that is a dovetail joint it is handcrafted by dutch amish all of the the cabinetry is done by dutch amish the rest of the camper is built here in in the great state of texas We've got a silverware drawer right here. That is a touch that even your, your high-end Montanas and Alpines don't have. This comes with it. You still have more storage underneath everywhere to put all your kitchen goods. We have a beautiful sink right here. The, another complaint that I hear about this is that this sink isn't big enough. But really, a good resolution to that is to just get one of the collapsible camp buckets I've got one in my hiking pack at home. Just fill it up with water, set it here, set it on the table, do whatever you need. Uh, you're not going to hurt the floor with a little bit of water that's good flooring. And uh, then you have a two sink setup in your teardrop camper. That's why people are full timing it in these tab 400s without a single complaint. Um, we've got our beautiful Dometic two burner stove. And they did take care of a problem that the O1s had. They separated these and they give you an igniter. So some people had a problem with, with lighting it with a, a lighter and you had to do that. And they just, they took care of it by putting a push button. All right. This is the two way refrigerator. Uh, 4.6 or 4.3 cubic uh, feet in there and this is the bigger refrigerator of the two. You can get a two-way or a three-way. So two-way is electrical hookup and battery. Three-way is electrical hookup, battery, and propane. Uh, the three-way refrigerator version goes right here uh, and you just have this for extra storage, even more. Uh, you, you, can, you can get the version with the two-way refrigerator. This would be a wardrobe for you. All right, I am six foot three. My head is only touching the the ceiling of the camper here, and and this is where I mean the bed's right there anyway. So why would you be standing in this part of the the entire camper? So I'm going to get into this bed and show you the ample space of the camper queen here. I'm six foot three, neither my head nor my toes are touching. This is good space right here. And you have, you guessed it, more storage. 
uh, a speaker right here if you want to sleep with music or with you know white noise or whatever charger ports and your inverter switch right here reading lights you're all set up you can even use your stargazer window to lull yourself to sleep or also you know if you're boondocking in a walmart parking lot or anything like that you can just lower your shade and see right out and plenty of privacy even though you have so many windows and yeah, nothing to worry about. Great. This beautiful wet bath. I know, a lot of people don't like wet baths. This one makes up for the complaints. Check it out. Like I said, I'm six foot three. I can almost stand up completely in this wet bath. Uh, it comes with a curtain. You just draw it around here, all the way around, and there's a hook right here for your curtain. All right, so since it's a wet bath, you have your, your toilet here. I'm gonna do the sit test and, and go ahead and take a quick sit. There you go. If you are super tall and you wanna shower, I mean, you can crouch or whatever, or you can just use the toilet and do, do it up with the uh, detachable shower head. Um, also, not half bad having a wet bath with a, a place you can sit and if you're a lineman or a professional cyclist you can shave your legs right here in the in the wet bath oh i'm sorry i also left out the triathletes this sink you will not find in every single wet bath in every teardrop trailer it's an actual sink not a flop down it's got an actual fixture it's solid it's beautiful it's not going anywhere you don't have to worry about, uh, I would rather not use this superfluous sink that, that no one likes and you have to flop it down and everything when and the kitchen one's right there and that's kind of gross. No one wants to you know, go mixing the two, so you just take care of it here. It's a beautiful sink that you actually want to use. All right. And this window, not to worry, is also fully private. So there you go. And even more storage everywhere hooks shelves the toilet paper roll is covered so even though you're going to draw your your shower curtain you still have your toilet paper roll here but also a wet bath is still technically a bidet so i mean you need toilet paper or whatever you don't have to worry about it when you're on the road because you got better than paper all right So I think that about does it, and we're going to show you the uh, the bunk system here. This little teardrop trailer could technically sleep eight people. Uh, unless you're putting someone in the middle of the floor, then we've got five. So go ahead and pause it, I'll let it this out. Alright, so we got the bunk set up, it's all right here. Um, you can, like I said, easily sleep at least four people. There's also plenty of accessories. You can put a tent outside, an entire whole tent out there. That's why people are full-timing it in this teardrop trailer. Um, it's, it's just amazing what they're doing nowadays. The sale value on this one is 44997 here at Holiday World. And with that, you get the Priority RV Network. So if you break down, no matter anywhere in the United States or within um, a, a short distance to a Priority RV repair place, and, and we can get you in, get you to the front of the line, you'll be in and out in about two weeks, and back on the road. So if you're in Ohio or Oregon, um, you can totally still get your camper taken care of and get, get back to life as it was. This is still uh, Dutch Amish craftsmanship, and I'm going to do the lie in it test here as well. This one, not so much, not so much space here because you got other stuff running through the walls and everything. Again, I am six foot three, above average height, so take that for what it's worth. But if you're a side sleeper, this is totally fine. This is great. This is right here, you're comfy. Right. 
the dinette set is still just perfect for the uh, home away from home office. And this is a beautiful camper, and I think I'm selling myself on it, but uh, that's a conversation for later. Just the amount of storage, the amount of modular touches and everything like that, uh, the dovetail jointing, uh, really makes it worth the, the asking price. I think it's worth more, but uh, that's what it's going for. This 2023 new camp, top 400. All right, it's uh, 18 feet and three inches long exterior. So you can, you can park this in your national parks, you can park this in all of your RV parks and just enjoy life. I found plenty of other videos on YouTube of people full time it needs. They got all the tips and tricks, everything like that. Uh, this video is about the features and about what tab can do for you. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Comment below all the good stuff. You'll see me on the road.